Here we have the function x squared divided by x squared minus 16. And this is what the graph looks like. And so it looks like um, the, for the graph from the left side up to negative uh, 4, the graph is going up. And then from um, negative 4 to 0, and the graph is also going up. And then from 0 to 4, the graph is going down. And then from 4 to the left side, to the right side, or 4 to infinity, the graph is going down. And so that's what we want to find. We want to find where the, uh, the graph is uh, increasing and where it's decreasing. And so first, find the uh, derivative and then find the critical numbers. And then that will tell us exactly what this value is and this value is. Here we have a uh, quotient, and so to find the derivative, we need to use the uh, quotient rule. And so the quotient rule is uh, to be the uh, bottom times the derivative of the uh, numerator, and then minus the denominator, minus the uh, numerator, times the derivative of the denominator and then denominator square the derivative of x square that's just going to be 2x and then the derivative of x squared right here is 2x. Derivative of 16 is 0. And so we get 2x minus 0, which is just 2x. And then uh, 2x. Two x times x squared, that'd be two x to the third. Two x times minus sixteen is minus thirty-two x, and then minus uh, x squared times two x, that'd be two x to the third. And then right here, we can see that 2x to the third minus 2x to the third is 0. And so what's left is just minus 32x. And then uh, the, uh, to find critical numbers, uh, first we look at the derivative function here and see what will make the bottom here 0. Because that's where the derivative is undefined. And that's where the function, that's where the, uh, this function right here is uh, not differentiable. And so right here, we can see that if we let x be 4, and then we get 0. And so in the place of x, we put 0, 4. And so here we get uh, 128 negative, and then this is 16 minus 16, which is 0. So we're dividing by 0, which is undefined. And then similarly, if we uh, let x be negative 4, then we also get undefined. Because negative 4 squared, 16, 16 minus 16, 0, and this is undefined. And so again, when the derivative, uh, the derivative is undefined at 4 and negative 4, then we say that this function right here is not differentiable at x equal to 4 and x 
equal to negative 4. And so we have critical numbers. And that's what we've seen right here. We've seen the negative 4, and then we've seen uh, 4. And then uh, the other way to find the derivative, the uh, critical number, is set the derivative equal to zero. So once again, two ways to find uh, critical numbers. Look at the derivative here and then uh, find values that we can uh, let x be so that the denominator is 0. And then this one is obvious enough that we can let x be 4, negative 4. But when it's not obvious, then what we can do is just set this denominator right here equal to 0 and then solve for x. And then that will give us, that will tell us where the derivative is undefined. And hence tell us where uh, the function is not differentiable. And then um, the second way is to uh, define critical numbers is we set the derivative equal to zero and solve for x. The reason we have to do it both because that's def the definition of critical numbers. So critical number uh, is defined as a value where the de function is not differentiable and where the derivative is equal to zero. So that's why we have to do both. And so, uh, right here, this quotient is equal to zero. The only way that this can be zero if the numerator here is zero, meaning the minus 32 x has to equal to zero. That's the only way that this, could, this quotient right here could be equal to zero if the top is zero. And so, dividing by negative 32, x is equal to zero. So this is also a critical number. And that's what we see seeing right here. So we have three critical numbers. So we have the 0, the negative 4, and the 4. And so what we're seeing on the graph is this. This is negative 4, this is 0, and this is 4. And then that will help us uh, figure out where the function is increasing or where it's decreasing. And so from the left side up to negative 4, the function is going up, so it's increasing. And so we say that f of x, which is this function right here, is increasing on the interval from negative infinity to negative 4. And then uh, from negative 4 to 0, the function is also going up, and so it's also increasing. It's also increasing from the interval from negative 4 to 0. And then uh, from 0 to 4, the graph is going down. And then from 4 to the right side, the graph is going down. And so that's why it's decreasing. So it's decreasing from the interval from uh, 0 to 4. It is also decreasing from 4 to the right side, which is infinity. So from the uh, graph, we saw that the uh, function x squared over x squared minus 16 increases on this interval, and then increases on the interval from negative 4 to 0, decreases on the interval from 0 to 4, and decreases on the interval from 4 to infinity. So once again, with the derivative test, 
the first derivative test, if we pick any number inside of this interval and then evaluate the derivative at that number, then we'll get a positive value because the function is increasing on that interval. So let's say we pick the negative 5. So we pick negative 5, then here's the derivative function here. So in the place of x, we put negative 5, negative 5, negative 5. And then evaluate this right here, simplify this on the scientific calculator, then we get a positive 1.97. And again, we're getting a positive value because the function is increasing on this interval. And same thing here, if we pick a number from this interval, let's say uh, we pick negative 3. And if we pick negative 3, and so in the place of x, we put negative 3 and negative 3. And then uh, evaluate this, we get positive 1.95. And again, the reason the derivative is positive because on this interval, the function, this function here is increasing. And then the next two interval, we should get negative value for the derivative because the function is decreasing on these two intervals. And so here, let's pick the 1 on this interval. And so we uh, plugged in 1 in the place of x. If we put 1 and 1 and then evaluate this, then we'll get negative 0 0.14. And then the last interval, 4 to infinity, uh, let's say we pick the 5 from this interval. And then... 5 here, so in the, for the derivative, if we plugged in 5, and then we get negative 1.97, which is negative.